Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruelty-free YouTuber that's trying to have a year-long no-buy. And today I am in my throwback week and I am using palettes that I had as favorite in 2018. And okay, <laughs> the last palette I have for this look is the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. And... Uh, It looks like this and I have actually no idea what I want to do with this like no idea at all and this is as I said was one of my favorite palettes and in 2018 and it has been one of my top palettes like I've always loved this palette because this was the first palette that I used with like my most my first colorful palette and now I'm just like has it maybe been only nostalgia? Because when I sit down on deciding what I wanted to do, it was blank. But I think I figured out something, so I think we just get started and we will see how how this will go. And okay, I think I think I actually have come up with something and it feels like I have a catcher in my eye. I don't know. Um so I'm going to start with yellow and orange in my crease and then we will see if this will look shit and I will just take the yellow first and then go in with the orange just a little bit and this palette I bought this from Beauty Bay and I did really want to test the some colorful palettes out and I have heard a lot about the uh, US Place and that a lot of people really love their formula and the US Place I don't know I don't think they are on Beauty Bay anymore but they were and I ordered some palettes I think it was this one and maybe the Masquerade and I was just so excited and I did really love this palette when I got it home because it was my first more colorful palette and I did a look, I think it was my first video in English that I used this palette actually and I have really been loving it and I think I've been loving it for so long because I have special memories with this one like as I said, my first colorful palette and it was really like the start of my new journey on YouTube, can you say it like that? Because I started with English and I went over to have like a makeup channel. But maybe this, I have had so many like rainbow palettes and super colorful palettes after this one that I think I actually like so much more so I think it's most nostalgia about this but like I don't think I could decluttering it because it means so much to me still but I don't know and this yellow I can remember I do love this one and yes this is kind of old but it still looks as it should and it doesn't smell so I guess the shadows are good or as they are supposed to be but maybe it's just me that have other preference right now and also like I have discovered other shadows I still think that Juvia's Place is a good eyeshadow brand I haven't though I think the Nomad palette is the newest one I have and that isn't that new anymore and I honestly think that this palette is missing something First of all, it's missing a red. Uh, I don't know. It's a brown in this. I think this should have been a red instead. I don't get the brown. Or maybe they could have done like a brown shade, but leaning to the red or like a burgundy or something, but it's just a normal brown. And it's not a bad brown shade. It's just that I I think the palette would have been more fun if it was a red in it and also I I don't know I do struggle with this I don't think I did struggle with this that much 
like when I had it and I think I might be better to use colors now than I was when I got the palette but apparently not and it's now that I'm going to do the thing that I'm not sure of because I'm thinking of doing a pink lid so taking this pink and this pink or only this pink, I don't know. Because the I think it's missing a really deep shade. Like this purple isn't good at all. Um, and the brown isn't deep. Uh, this purple is kind of dry. <sighs> and it's now, I don't know. I could do like a whole matte look. But I don't want that. And I do think that this pink shimmer would go good. Because it has a little bit of gold. I don't know if you can see it. It has like a gold shift to it, so it should go kind of good. Okay, do you know what? I'm taking the shimmer pink all over my lid and I'm not going to cut my crease, no. And I think that Yves Place, they do some really, really good shimmers and their shimmers are really easy to work with, like, it's no problem, they often, like, work super amazing without a glitter primer and just on your eyeshadow base and they are usually kind of good to blend out like I'm doing now in my crease. So that I do really love about their shimmers, but I think it's their matte shades, some of them are more like questionable. I think they always like do good shimmer shades, but some of the mattes aren't the best. And as I said, I haven't bought a new US Place palette in... What can it be? At the latest I bought these uh, six pan palettes, berries, nude, chocolate and violet. I did declutter all of them and uh, I think one of them I haven't even used. I think it was the violets I didn't even use and after that I haven't bought any more US Place. Okay, this actually looks really good. I like how it goes together with my crease, this pink. didn't thought it was going to be this good. Actually, I was like preparing on a disaster look. And I wasn't like... My motivation with YouTube has been kind of good. As you may have noticed. And... I have been liking this week until today. It's Sunday today when I'm recording this and I'm going to edit this as soon as I'm done with this video and I'm going to put it up. And I was like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to film this look. I don't want to use this palette. Now it feels a little bit better, but I'm still not. I'm still not super hyped about this. I don't know why and uh, I know, I know that I'm not like obligated to film today, it's just me that wants to do that. I really want it, but yeah, I, I want to be done with this week because this palette, I thought that I was going to... I didn't save this palette for last because I didn't want to use it, I saved this for last because I was looking forward to use it, but to be honest, now, I don't know. I think I might want to try to go in with this purple over the pink shimmer, just like out here, to have some... Yeah, that something is happening out here, and I don't know how this will go. We will try. Okay, maybe this... Sometimes I think, like, if a matte shadow isn't that good, if you put it over a shimmer, it is really good. And okay, this worked. Really? Really good. Maybe I'm liking this look more than of what I was going to. <laughs> I love it when that happens and when you're thinking like, oh, I don't want to do a look. I don't want to do this look. We will just have to wait and see how it will turn out. And then it turns out really, really good. I love it when it's that way. I hate it when it is like, okay, do you really want to use 
this and this is going to look so good and you do will look and it looks like shit but yeah just look it is so much better than I thought it was going to be and okay I do like this lids more than I thought I was going to I think it looks really good actually okay maybe not really good but it looks good so I will take away the fallouts fix my base and then I come back and I think I want to go in with the orange and the purple maybe on my lower lash. I think I'll do that. So this is the finished look and for my face I did use from this Infinity Puff by Allergy Cosmetics which I have done this whole week. So I used Milk Away, Andromeda and Maffei and like I have forgotten how amazing this Milk Away is as an highlighter. I love it on my wash line I did use punch from Colourpop and uh, as normal with my lipstick I don't have a fucking clue what I'm doing I took Mellow Moore from LH Cosmetics this is their Magic Stick I do love this Magic Stick in Mellow Moore but if it goes good to this look I have no idea but okay I am much more happy with this look than I thought I was going to be, which feels really, really good. I think that the pink shimmer went amazing to my orange and yellow crease because it has a gold sheen to it. And I like to take the purple to deepen it down and just like make something happen on the slits. So yeah, this is my last throwback look and I think it has been fun. To use all these palettes again and I thought that I maybe can talk about them a little bit and like I don't know if you want that but I'm going to do it if we first start with the infinity palette as that I have used as my face palette this whole week I do love this palette and I think it's showing you see this big pan and you see this big pan I do love this for using on my face on my eyes maybe not that much anymore but on my face I think this is amazing and if you want a good palette with that has highlighters blushes and contour I think this is this is really really good they are though pretty pigmented because they are supposed to work as um, eyeshadows as well so you maybe don't go in with like too much and if you have a deeper complexion than me, you can't see that much of this cigar, but I think this would work kind of good if you are deeper than me. And also they have an infinity deep with darker shades. So yeah, I do still love this and I use this kind of often. So I started the week with a feather collection from Nabla. I do like these. I don't think I would have bought this collection if it came out now, even though some of these colors I do really really love. I love this color and this color and the black is really good but I have other good blacks in my collection but yeah I do really like these. I am happy that I have them but I wouldn't buy them again and I think that Nabla, I don't think they do that many single shadows. Do they even have the shingle, single shadows left? I have no idea. They don't do that much single things anymore. They, I think they started out with singles and then the Dreamy palette came. But these are really good and I think it is pretty similar. Like the single shadows are similar to the shadows in the palettes. The next palette I used was the Soft Glam. And I do still love this look. This, this look at this palette. These shadows are amazing. The shimmers are really, really good. The mattes are so creamy and easy to work with. And I think with this palette, I don't think it's worth the price because ABH is kind of expensive, at least in Sweden. But the palette is really, really good. But I think that you can get like the same good shadows in other palettes that doesn't cost that much. But I also think that this palette is amazing. I am so happy that I have it and I wouldn't buy it again because I have other, but I do love it so, so much. This is still one of my favorite neutral palettes that I have in my collection. Um, next week 
it's coming up a video where I'm talking about neutral palettes if you are interested in that. The next palette was the Creepy Cute and this is still one of my favorite palettes. This is the best pastel palette I have. These pastels are amazing. The black is amazing and I just love this. Shroud is one of my absolute favorite formulas. They do amazing mattes and they do amazing shimmers. This doesn't have any shimmer in it but this is an amazing palette. The shadows are so so good. The payoff is amazing and it still works after four years as good as it did in the beginning. They are kind of powdery the shadows just to know but the payoff is amazing. And the palette that I did use yesterday was the Hasina 2 palette and I know that I did love this and like using it again it is so good and I love the look that I did with this and it's just I'm a little bit sad that blush tribe do no, do not longer exist and it was a really hyped brand and they were doing amazing palettes in the beginning and I don't think that this palette maybe isn't that unique now but when it came it wasn't many palettes that mixed green and purple and in my look yesterday I did a green eye and a purple eye and I did really love this look and this also this is so so good and I know that people did miss out on this one. I think you can dupe it but I think it's amazing to have it in the same palette and I only have good memories with that palette and I only have good memories with Blush Tribe. And the palette I used today, the Zulu palette. This look turned out better than I thought it was going to do. Um, I don't know about this palette. I think like now I wouldn't buy it again uh, because I have other shadows in the same color that I do like more and this brown annoys the crap out of me. But this is... In the beginning, for me, when I started to use color, this was a perfect palette because it's easy to work with, the shimmers are really good, but I think it's a little bit hard to come up with a look. Today I did it and I've done it before, but I think it's more a complimentary palette if you want some colors in your life and I guess I know why it got, because this was like hyped, but at the same time it came out, I bought it four years ago. I think it came out maybe five years ago because it wasn't new when I bought it. It is really, really good. Could it be better? Yes. Do I love it? Yes. But do I love it because it's bringing back memories? Yes. So yeah, that was my throwback weekend. I do hope that you like this. I think it was fun and I do really love to use my collection more. I've talked about this so much, but yeah, I am on a no buy this year. I'm not taking in any new palettes in my collection and it's just so fun to use palettes again uh, that I have had for a long time, but haven't used for a long time. So yeah, I do really hope that you've liked this week. I hope that you have liked this video for today. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!